Hey, what's good, everybody? God bless you guys on this beautiful, amazing Sunday. Blessed be the name of the Lord. For the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run into it. And they are and they are saved because Yahshua is salvation and deliverance and healing. He's everything that you'll ever need. Amen. So I want to talk to you today about this. Just because you burnt, watch this. <laughs> Think it not strange, y'all. If you burn for Jesus, if you're in love with Jesus, if you live the life and you for real are, are on fire for Jesus, don't expect other people who say they're Christians to be on fire for Jesus too. Because brothers and sisters, I'm telling you, uh, you're, you're only going to disappoint yourself. And see, I discovered this long time ago that not everyone, say, not everyone is saved the same. They're not. See, most people are just saved just to go to church on Sunday. But there are those that are the remnant that are burning ones for the cause of Jesus Christ who live the life every day modeling the life to the best of their ability growing being transformed by the renewing of the spirit of their mind being conformed to truth to confirm his word with miracle signs and wonders following them everywhere they go yes everywhere they go those that live according to the faith who fight the good fight of faith who abide in the faith in Christ Jesus and adhere to his truth concerning what is written so that the word of what they preach and teach is confirmed with signs wonders and miracles the word of God is alive and living brothers and sisters it is not a dead gospel. If some, if ah, uh, hear me, y'all. I know people are gonna get mad at me, but that's okay because it should challenge your your carnal mindset and it should challenge your belief system as to what it is you believe is true that can't not hold weight or water to truth. See, truth is spiritual. Truth has evidence. The things that are not seen, that are hoped for, that come from the reality and the dimension of truth spiritually, of who you are in Christ Jesus, will never make sense to the human reasoning intellect of man understand that saints of God understand this so here's what I will say to a lot of people that hunger and thirst after the moving of the spirit and want more of Jesus not just to be a mundane casual status quo Christianity somebody but those that are burning for more with Jesus Christ if you want more to live for real for Jesus you're going to irritate people around you if you for real want to live the life people will not understand you and when you talk and you and you lay hands on people and miracles begin to happen not everyone is going to celebrate you see you think sometimes the church thinks that everyone is going to be wow that's so awesome that, that is so cool brother no 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 it's the opposite but here's where you have to be trained so that you you are prepared so that your heart does not become weary in doing good because you're gonna see god use your life because you trust the lord because you rely on the lord and you take the lord at his word and believe what the gospel says you're not a christian by declaring vocally you're a christian by living out the realities of the kingdom of god 
in Christ Jesus through word and demonstration by the power of the working of the Holy Ghost in your life that confirms his word that is alive and living on the inside of you. Yes, it is not dead. We do not have a dead gospel, somebody. We are not preaching from dead scrolls. We are preaching from the living Christ who was seated at the right hand of the Father, and you and me are in Jesus, and Christ is in you, and we on this earth need to model that reality, live from that mindset, and walk out Christ in you, the hope of glory. So not everyone is going to be celebrating you. See, the more you want of God, the more you desire and want to burn for Jesus and actually live out the Bible, <laughs> you're not going to fit. You're not going to fit. But you got to prepare that in your heart already. See, because this is why you cannot be moved by based upon what pe even people's faces See, I've been around I've been around religious institutions literally that got mad at me for praying for somebody and a miracle happened with one of their church converts that I was visiting at and asked me what am I doing praying for them and the service was over and a miracle happened to that person but they get mad at me for praying for one of their church members that gets healed but they were gonna let leave them be and not pray for them and to believe God for a miracle to come their way that makes no kind of sense to me y'all that's what I'm talking about that's exactly the foolishness that sometimes I've seen because I've been around different cities and regions and churches and places I've seen a lot of stuff brothers and sisters I've seen some weird strange belief systems and the church I so here's so okay so so if I wouldn't have prayed you were just gonna let them leave anyway so what difference does it make if I pray for them and God moves upon their life they were gonna walk out the door and leave the place but you get mad because somebody that doesn't go to your church prays for somebody and a miracle happened and just because it didn't happen with your hands you get mad at a brown brother. You get mad at this Latino brother who came to visit the service and saw somebody was in need of prayer, prayed for that daughter, prayed for that individual, prayed for that person so that they can receive a miracle and a touch from Jesus. I didn't know the gospel had restrictions, y'all. <laughs> I'm talking about in my early days. See, you're going to learn the hard way, y'all. I promise you, not everyone's going to celebrate miracles, signs, and wonders flowing in your life. If you think if you think people are going to celebrate miracles, signs, and wonders, and you being on fire for Jesus, you got another thing coming, which is why you must prepare your heart. You got to prepare your mind, and you got to get tough skin, y'all. You got to get tough skin because you're going to have people look at you sideways and it doesn't matter what color they are you're gonna have people black brown white look at you crazy as can be because you actually believe that the bible works you actually believe that the holy ghost on the inside of you has given unto you power not to be a hermeneutics master not to be an apologetics debater not not to be a good marine no so that you can be a son and daughter of god on this earth to manifest the kingdom of what it is we say we believe See, the church ain't ready. And we're in 2024. 2024. 2,000 plus years later. And we're not even close to walking out the realities of the book of Acts. Now, there's spurts. Don't, please hear me. There is spurts. There are springs of revivals trying to ignite. And there are the flint stones trying to spark moves of the Lord and there are people that are truly going after and hungering for Jesus and for a moving of the Spirit of God to manifest in this earth oh yes there is and they're far and few 
So be the fire of God that the Lord needs for you to be in Jesus name.